we begin our examination of the Solity malware by grabbing a sample and copying it to our audit only system. This system has Silence Protect and Silence Optics installed, but all of the preventative responses are disabled to create a system where malware is allowed to run so we can observe the behavior. In this example, we see that Silence Protect would have normally quarantined the original sample, but on this audit only system, we are allowing it to run. We'll bring up Task Manager so that we can keep an eye on the system after we execute the malware. Very quickly, one of the first things Solity does is kill the Task Manager so that the user is unable to see or stop any unwanted processes. As the malware continues to run, you can see new files being created and then the parent process attempting multiple memory exploits. After a short while, we begin to see Solity begin to infect other applications on the system. In this case, it has decided to Trojan our installation of Acrobat Reader. It's also creating new applications like the Download Manager and is actually masquerading itself as a Windows Defender component. Now let's see if we can bring up the Task Manager to see what's going on. As you can see, Task Manager has been completely disabled by the Solity malware. Silence Protect now detects the Trojan copy of Acrobat Reader. Now we're going to speed up the video a bit as the malware continues to run and we see many more memory violations attempted. As the malware continues its work, we get notifications from Silence Optics that it has begun detecting activity. Once again, we are allowing that activity to occur on the Sandbox system. Now let's switch over to the Silence console so we can examine the details about these new Silence Optics detections. We can quickly see a huge spike in unsigned application network beaconing detections. Viewing the details on these events, we can see that the malware is, in fact, calling out to external IP addresses to pull further malware or instructions. Now we're going to switch to another system that has the same Silence technology installed. However, this time, Silence is configured to prevent attacks on the system. We'll bring up Task Manager and we will copy the exact same sample to this system. This time, when we attempt to execute the malware, we are immediately prevented from executing the sample because Silence Protect has determined that the file is actually malicious and prevents the malware from ever running. Silence does not care where the file comes from. It could have come through email, Bluetooth, a USB stick, or downloaded through a browser. It doesn't matter. Silence stops bad software from ever running on your system.